right, so for those of you who were working <clears throat> with us on math last time, um, we're going to do a little bit review of what we started on the last time around. Um, so, does anyone remember what's the first thing we do when we come across a fraction? Lowest common denominator. What's the lowest common denominator of this one going to be? 21. 21. Right? How do we find this number out? 3 times 7. 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 So we want to find out this new top number. So you multiply, you multiply the, the 3 on top with the 7 on the bottom. So you multiply the same time. So it's 7 by 3 or 3 by 3. Yeah. get the 21. Yeah. Okay. So what Ferris is saying is that 7 times 3 equals 21. So you have to multiply the top by the same thing, 3. And you're going to get... 18. 3 times 6 is 18. How are we going to get this number? Same way, right? So 3 goes into 21. 7 times 2? 14. 14 minus 18. Ah. Can't do it. You got to borrow from the 1. So that becomes a 0. Where, how do we get the 1 into this fraction? 21 over 21. Got it. Does everyone remember this? We did it last time. Because we borrowed this 1, we have to express our 1 in terms of the denominator. Everybody knows 21 divided by 21 is. That's our 1 that we borrowed. 14 plus 21 now becomes 35. 21. 35 minus 18 is 17 all over 21. This is 0. 0 minus 0 obviously is 0. 17, 21. Can we reduce it? No. Moving right along. What's the LCD here? 21. 21 goes into 21 how many times? 1 times 8 is? 8. Or 3 goes into 21 how many times? 7 times 1 is? 7 plus 8 is? 15 plus 7 is 22. Are we done? Katie, are we done? Katie says we're done. Okay. Move on to the next one. Are we done? We're going to reduce it, right? Yeah. Because for 15 and 21, we got to find the greatest common factor, as you said, is 3. You take a 3 out of 15 and take a 3 out of 21, you're going to get 5 there. So 22 and 5 sevenths. Right? Next one, what's the LCD here? <laughs> 2 goes into 8 how many times? 4 times 1 is 4 8 goes into 8 how many times? 1 times 3 is 4 minus 3 Can we do that? So what do we got to do? Got to borrow, borrow from here That becomes 2 How are we going to, how are we going to express our 1? 8 over 8 That's it 8 over 8 Right, because the one we borrow, we express it in terms of the denominator. Just like we did back here, we express it in terms of the denominator. 8 plus 3 is 11. 
11 eighths. 11 minus 4 is 7. 7 eighths. So it's just 7 eighths. Because now 2 minus 2 is 0. Okay? Is everyone comfortable with that? Mm 